if you'd like to know how to make this really simple flower cane, then just keep watching. Hi everybody, this is MJ from Creative Minds. Today we're going to be making a super easy flower cane. So, first of all, we're going to be using Primo Aloe and Crimson, Primo White, and what I have today is Sculpey 3 Translucent. I do not recommend this for caning. I, I would recommend Primo Translucent for caning. If you have the Sculpey 3, I would say you're going to want to leach it a little bit before using it because it's just so soft. It is just so soft. It's not the greatest for caning, but this is what I have on hand today and this is just going on the outside. So, so the first thing you want to do is get yourself some the alizarin crimson. You're going to need about four ounces of it in the, in the, in the beginning and you're going to want to condition that and you're going to want to roll it out into a long log about this thick or so you know about a finger finger width thick depending on how big your fingers are i have kind of large hands and then when you get it out into the log you want to you want to cut it into about five five sections okay and the first thing you're going to do is this this these sections are going to make our petal and this is what we're going to come out with for the petal of the cane. It's basically got a white center and it's wrapped in white. So what we do is you want to take your Primo white, first of all, on your on one of these pieces after you've cut the five out and you want to just you just want to place your, your Primo Sculpey. And what I do is I usually cut a square out or I, I kind of measure my piece up to the Primo to see where I'm going to need to cut it. And go ahead and wrap tightly all the way until you go to the end here and then kind of rock it back and forth and you should see a little demarcation here. I don't know if you can see it on mine, but I can see right, right here there's a little bit of a demarcation. So you're going to go ahead and, and cut it there. That kind of gives you an indication of where about the end is. It's not always accurate, but it's, it's close enough. And then you're going to butt these ends up here. Close it. And then just give it where the seam is. Take, have a look at it and make sure when you gently roll it back that the, onto the table. You never want to roll it real fast when you're working with a cane. You want to go slowly. And basically you're just going to roll it a little bit onto your surface and make sure that your seam is closed in the back and you don't have any bubbles. Okay, and once that's done, then you're going to take your blade and center over the top. And what you're going to do is you're going to cut down about halfway from the center, in the center, all the way halfway. And, and so I kind of look at my blade and see when it's about halfway in. And then I just take it out. And once you do that, you can open up your cane and you just place in a piece of the white. This is rolled out on a two on the pasta machine. I have an Atlas 180 and place this in the center. Close it up. Take your blade and you're just going to take off any of the excess clay that you have. And then you can give it a little roll on the table and on your work surface to make sure that that's nice and flat. And once you stop hearing the noise, then you know that it's pretty well uh, good and stuck in there. And you should have this. 
Okay, so then what you're going to do is do five of these. Okay, and I've prepared the other four, so these are ready to go. So you need five of those. And I'll, I'll give you a little tip. What I like to do, because the clay gets very, very soft sometimes when you're working with it. Well, I have hot hands, and I don't know if that has to do with it, but what I like to do is I like to cut everything out that I'm going to need beforehand and that way it gives it a little time once it's conditioned and I've cut it to rest in between each step so that everything is not just melting in my hands as I go throughout. So I try to cut everything out and then I assemble it. So everything else that's already been cut out is, is sitting and resting right now while I am going on with these steps. So it's giving it a chance to firm up a little bit when I get to it. So next thing you want to do is roll out some more of the alizarin crimson and you want to roll about the size of your logs that you have already cut it doesn't have to be quite as big but you want to roll it out to about that size and basically you're going to first on the two rolled out on the two everything that encases the cane is rolled out on the two and what you're going to do is just uh, you're going to wrap this in the white and again when I go when I roll it forward I'm going to just kind of rock it here and and it should give me a line and as you can see I don't know if you can see it there but it's right here there's a line there I just trim off and that's just an estimate it's not like I said 100% accurate but it's close enough and then I will butt that up and give it a little bit of a roll make sure there's no air bubbles or anything in it and then what you want to do with this here is roll this out, keep rolling on your surface. So just keep rolling. Almost done here. Okay. And once you get it all pretty even, okay, you're gonna take and I usually cut the end just to make it. And save your scraps from this because you can use them in, in, in another project. Nothing's gonna go to waste. But you're gonna wanna cut these and cut them all the same, trim them up to the same size. Divide it up and trim them up to the same size. And we're approaching the end here. So then you go ahead and you're going to roll these up or kind of assemble them together. Into a log. And then you're gonna roll it on your surface a little bit here and Kind of give it a little bit of a press down and pull, just really gently. You don't need a lot of pressure here. And then roll. You just want to get this about the same thickness and width as your other five petals. So once you've got accomplished that, you should have this here. 
a really cute uh, center. I'm going to just stretch that out just a little bit and I'm just going to take off just so we can keep our ends nice and neat. I said none of this will go to waste. You can use this in another project easily. Next what you're going to do is you're going to assemble the five petals around. I'm going to kind of push this up just a little bit. Push this in just a little bit. Okay. Around this. Oh, I went a little too far so that the stems are, or the um, center of the petal is, is pressed inward and onto the center of the flower where the center would be located. So you're just going to assemble these around the flower. And I always have a look at the other side as I'm going to to make sure that I haven't I'm not twisting it the wrong way or, or anything like that to make sure everything's coming out okay on the other side. And then once you've got these on, you should have this here. Okay? Okay, and next what you do is you get out your translucent and you're going to roll and condition your translucent and then what you're going to do is you need some snakes about the length of your petals okay and you just want some thin snakes and then what you're going to do is once you get it out to the rolled out you need five of them and uh, once you get them rolled out then you're going to just take one move these out of the way so it's not distracting and you're just going to take and pinch a little bit the top all the way across just gently pinch the top all the way across so that you're left with this sort of a teardrop shape. And then what you do is after you've pinched this and it's nice and pointed on one end, then you go ahead and you take your cane and you're going to press the piece into these open areas here. This is going to give us a nice translucent background and it's going to give us definition in the petals. So we just go ahead and press that in there. And then when, once you've done that, you should have this. And at this point, you can just give it a little hug with your hands. Not too hard, just a little hug, just to kind of bring everything close together. Make sure that you have it, everything's nice and tightly assembled together. Keeping the shape and everything. That you have and then once you do that then you can roll out your translucent on the number two and you're going to wrap 
this cane completely with it. So we go ahead and roll this up till we see the mark on the other side. Rock it a little bit, come back, and you should see a line. Let me go back here. Okay, I think it's about right here. I don't see on the Sculpey a very good um, marking of it, but let's just see. Oh, that's about right. And we'll just close that. Give it a little bit of a roll and make sure you don't have any bubbles and little squeezes on the seam there and then little gentle hugs and squeezes. You have a look at it and look it over make sure you don't have any bubbles. And generally what I do is I allow this now to rest because it's freshly made and it's so soft and it's just susceptible to damage if we try to reduce it right now. So I'm going to go ahead and let this rest. That is your simple and easy cane. And I'll let it rest for a couple days and then I will begin to reduce it at that time to different sizes. You can go down to any size you want with this. So I hope you enjoyed this. If this has helped you at all, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more. We have lots of things we're going to be doing in a project coming up with some of these things in it. So please join our community as well on the internet at www.creativemindscommunity.com. And don't forget our favorite place to shop online is polyclayplay.com. And that's where we got all these supplies from. We always order from them online and uh, they had the best prices for polymer clay and the best deals and we are not reimbursed for saying that or anything like that but we just really love to shop there and so I haven't found anybody with a better price on the clay. So that's about it for today. So we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.